what's up everybody welcome to the overachievers gaming podcast i am one of the hosts vash you know me and also my it's other me, host wash not wash vash with two v's <laughs> pastrami that is ashy and the crondo that is a chef welcome mm. to our episode of this podcast 91 called tasty things where we discuss video games why we play them philosophies behind them and what's enjoyable about them you can find us on the internets at og dot podcast our twitter which we don't use is overachievers p as well as our website ogpodcast.fm where you can get this episode and everything else that we've ever done before welcome everyone to this podcast Gents, take it away. Do you feel better now? Did that help? Did you, you, no. you feel better now? It did not help. I was just I had a bit and I was just sticking with it. So right, sometimes right, you right. really gotta stick to the bit. Yeah. Sometimes you really got. Right, listen, I'm I trying to, oh, there's a react, to things. There's a react button now. And what? On Twitch. What do you mean? There was like a button I could react, and I, I reacted hype. Like there was a little, what? there was a little button that said hype or uh, react and it has, oh, yeah, look at that. it's right next to the heart. No. Oh, all right. Well, hype for my monotone intro. So there we go. Where does what? it go? Where does the hype go to? What does that mean? Oh, maybe that's why I get those emails that are like, Hey, your fans think that you're hyping up your, your stream. So you got it. I'm like, <laughs> who the fuck is listening to watching me stream? Like I don't stream anymore. Like who cares? I barely have time go- to do this. There's podcast. probably bots going to your page and just pressing the hype. Yeah, button. for sure. I mean that's a that's a smart way to do it if you want to hype yourself up. No pun intended. All right. Dude, I hype anyway. myself up every night. Hi everyone. <laughs> we are live on the Twitches and not live on the Tiki Talks. So I actually played video games this week that wasn't World of Warcraft. I'm excited to hear because I did Can not you believe play video it. Games. Doug, I've been playing mad video games right now. You'd be how be we the dynamic the, the tables shifted. the tables have turned. I'm right. seventy I'm seventy five percent of the way to to platinuming. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Well, go into it. Tell us all about go, the transphobic game. Let's go. The transphobic don't, don't stir game. that up. You're gonna, you're <laughs> no, gonna no, no, no. It's all good. I, game, I, look, look. Gaming circle jerk is gonna oh, come. To I, you. I don't care what anybody says. I don't. I don't come to our. Uh, I'm not transphobic, and I don't believe in the whole theory behind that. But anyways, whatever. There's We're no theory behind. Okay, no, games. wait. Actually, no, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get you this way. <laughs> you can go ahead. Because there is go no ahead. theory behind it. No actual progressive person gives a fuck about you playing Hogwarts Legacy. Some people may choose yeah. not to. Like, I'm not playing Hogwarts Legacy. Gaming Circle Jerk, a shitty fucking trolling subreddit, mm-hmm. thought it'd be fucking funny to go to these people's fucking pages and just shit on them. And it was really <laughs> shitty. And now people are like, oh, all these fucking progressive fucking libtars out here are shaming yeah. you if you play Hogwarts. No one gives a fuck if you play Hogwarts Legacy. No one gives no a fuck if you play Hogwarts Legacy. You know Legacy. what the most ironic part about it was? No one gives a fuck if you play Hogwarts Legacy. Legacy. Is that the people that were going and harassing streamers, it seems Again, like they went... subreddit. Yeah, no, 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 but I mean, like, the people that I, I saw were getting harassed on, on Twitch were, like, very innocent, like, young women or something like that. Like, it was always, I, like, it was always, like, people that you... I, I, that, the most unassuming people, you know what I mean? Like, there's probably some people playing Hogwarts Legacy that maybe you could have like typecast as like, all right, this That's person. The, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason. It was a shitty trolling yeah. subreddit that fucking. Now it's like there's news headlines about it, and it's like, fuck, this is so fucking stupid. Yeah, it's. But so but, again, I just want to say that Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. Take and, anyways, there is a trans uh, person in the game. FYI, um, I'm sure there is. Yeah, I'm sure so. there's the game, <laughs> the game like, is complex. And has I actually had a moment it. where like I had to do like a double take. I was like, wait a second. Is my female character using a man? Like I like I was like I was scratching my head. I was like, wait a minute. Isn't this like the thing that like there's si- it's progressive. Who cares? No, no, I'm not. Compl- it's not a complaint. I'm not I complaining. Know, I'm just not. I'm I'm merely just saying that I find it very ironic that people are saying that you're but it, the game has like. I'm like, but no one's again, no one's that's thing. no one's actually no one is saying that. And that's, I think, even still the part of it. No one actually is still saying that it's still just, again, a trolling subreddit. Sure. You know what I mean? The game's massive. So, like, that's a very, uh, very small item. I mean, the game, the the, the open world aspect of the game is a little overwhelming. 
Talk yeah, about I'm talking about. I'm talking about yeah, so like the game's fantastic. Uh, the first I actually have played probably thirty hours so far, and the majority of it has has been spent in Hogwarts Castle. Like I haven't even spent that much time like doing the side quests and the open world. I spent most of the time. You can um, use a spell called Revelios, and it kind of like uh, you, you Avada Kedavra motherfuckers already. I, I'm not. I don't. I no. Uh, no, I'm not yet. No. Um, uh, I actually got my ass whooped last night for the first time, and I was really upset about it because I respawned, and I'm really confused because I died in this area trying to save this this uh, um, this dude's magic uh, transport shut. No, what, 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 oh my god! Why can I? Why am I blanking out? What's the name of the wagons? The transport things in the back in the back of the days. A wagon? I don't understand. I don't know. Like, like a convoy? Guy, like a- yeah, this guy has like these these uh like wagons that are tra- that are used by magic, and they can like go back to where he is, but you have to like beat the enemies to like let the free them up to go back to where the the traitor is. And um, I was in the middle of fighting all these goblins, and I definitely I don't know what happened, man. But they were like fucking like twenty goblins, and I got overrun. <laughs> and I I mean I got like three spells I can cast, and so is the I, whole game open world in the sense that there are other players running around doing stuff, or is it just? No. There's, you can't areas. you can't see other people. Uh, well, when you, like, when you ask, are you talking about like NPCs? Are you talking about no people like players? People? No, playing. I can't see. I can't see any other players. But there are areas where you could like play with people, though. No, I don't Isn't think so. Like, oh, I thought I thought that was not to my you knowledge. Can, if there du- are you can duel people, if there is, I haven't gotten there yet, or I haven't seen it. You can no, duel I, people. I, you can duel people, but the dueling is like actually a. Uh, part of the game like like the is that, M- is that you're doing npcs or you're doing yeah you're doing you're doing npcs yeah for some reason i thought this game was you're playing as other wizards and witches no 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 no. it's purely single player no oh um, i didn't i did not realize that yeah, yeah yeah it's purely single player so the game's great you start off um the, first of all the storyline i really like it like the the game has it's, it's like um it's like what I wish they would do with Star Wars where they would because, you know, this is Harry Potter. Star Wars is like focused on the Skywalker saga. Right. But there's so many parts about the Star Wars universe they could pull from and do things that are completely unrelated to it. Well, this is what this is. Yes. This is like everything. There's there's no mention of like Dumbledore, Snape, uh Harry Potter, right. nothing is mentioned about any of this stuff. I mean, the Weasley family's in the game, and like there's like ghosts around Hogwarts that are throwbacks, like Peeves the clown sure. that's in the book is in the game. He's always like roaming around causing havoc, but like there's no callbacks. Yeah, there's there's no callbacks to any but like Hermione, uh none of it. So um, I mean, there's Merlin. There's talks of like Merlin, which who is a yeah. wizard that went to Hogwarts, but whatever. It's not. I don't think that's that has anything to do with it. So, <laughs> so for me, um, <clears throat> that's my favorite part is that like you start off in the storyline that's that's uh, really kind of very interesting, and um, you know you're starting off Hogwarts as a fifth year student, and they don't really tell you why. You just kind of like are getting thrown into this scenario, and some stuff starts popping off, and you end up at Hogwarts, and you get to do the Sorting Hat thing. Definitely got into to Hufflepuff. Check Wait, this out. You're a student, but you get put in, you get, you show up to do the sorting hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's a thing in the game, right? They'll mention there's like a there's like a there, I'm I'm again. This is very early on, so this is not a spoiler, but like yeah. they'll they'll allude to the fact that there is a uh, there's 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 only been like a very select handful of exceptional wizards and uh, witches that have uh, or is it witches? I can't remember. Yeah, um, yeah. That have that have been introduced to Hogwarts as fifth year students. So anyways, this is an interesting part about the game. So every class has their own um, series of quest lines and the first weekend of the game or the first week of the game the statistics were number one was House Slytherin, number two was Gryffindor, three was Ravenclaw, four was Hufflepuff, right? Now that the game has been completed, it has been deemed that Hufflepuff has the coolest quest chain because they actually have a quest chain where you have to go to Azkaban and they're the only well, ones cool. yeah like you're the only ones that get to do that so like it's kind of well, funny cool, because cool. a lot of people are, ha- are re-rolling as Hufflepuff just to see to go, that just go to ask about yeah 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 because yeah. they're the old, they're literally the only ones that get to go see it Affair. and they get to see the what are the names of the thing the invisible de- they're not death dealer I can't remember the name um, um, Mike or Trondo was telling me all about this because he's like really crazy into the books but anyways Yo, there's like some figure. There's some uh, uh, 
cool monster that you can't see in any of the other ones, and they're only Dementors. Yeah, there you go. Dementors yes. Thanks, so, Nick. oh hi Nick. Yeah, hi Nick. Thanks, Nick. Um, yeah. So, anyways, that that I thought that was really cool. Uh, I've been having fun. I pet every cat that I walk by. FYI, I don't know why. Like, why not? There's no rhyme or reason behind it. I just do it. Um, you can pick them up. You can't do anything. Yeah, I mean, I, so I've read that there are people that are like using um, uh, Levioso or whatever it is to like pick up the cat and then you can basically like pull it, pull it, pull it and then like send it off the side of a building or something. Like oh, no. <laughs> yeah, was, but I mean, obviously no. they don't they don't die. They land on their feet. But um, it's still it's like there's just of course, there's got to be people that find nefarious things to do with the cat NPCs just vibing in the in the castle. But yeah, 10 out of 10 game. I think it's great. The first like six hours of the game I spent just doing puzzles around Hogwarts. Like I think it's just I think it's just great. Like the stories, the little um like when you're walking by NPCs and they're telling stories or even the ghosts are telling stories, uh the paintings will like follow you and um I think it's just overall definitely a great game i know there's people complaining there's like not a ton of spells in the game i think there's only like 20 i feel like that's kind of also so. how um harry potter's is though i don't think it's a very magically diverse like no. in terms of it does, and when you when you it seems like the world is magic but in terms of the magic that you can perform it doesn't really seem like there's that much like magic to be had outside of like the spells that they cast like in the in the movies and books or at least that's what i got from it yeah, so um, pretty excited to to finish the game. I I mean I I I, I swear I, I feel like I've spent like probably ninety five percent of my time doing side quests and just trying to do all of the stuff so I can platinum the game before Charlie even buys it. But um, or I even going to. I wasn't even planning on buying it. So. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Well, I'm gonna platinum the game anyways, bitch. Now you're okay. for it. You hear me? Because technically now you're speaking, definitely gonna platinum game before Charlie. Technically speaking, it's still before you platinum did. Even if you're not it's, gonna get it's it. Not even it. So. It's true. It's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm gonna win on a technicality. <laughs> the best way to win, baby. The best way to win. Technicality that wasn't even established, but anyway, whatever. it doesn't matter. Well, it, listen, listen. I feel like it's a foundation. It's foundationally established. It's just kind of a thing with you guys now. Yeah, now so, I'm yeah. gonna buy the game tonight and platinum before you. Before <laughs> I imagine leave. we wake up tomorrow. <laughs> He's gonna wake up like, tomorrow, I, and Amanda's gonna be like, "Josh, why did you do this?" Yeah, uh, <laughs> Charlie's been up for forty. What hours. did you do to this poor man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what That's what fun. else have you been playing? Has it been mostly in the Hogwarts? I started Dead Space. Um, oh, great! We could both talk about Dead Space. Yeah. Well, I haven't. I haven't. I truthfully, I haven't played like a ton of it. I, I my my uh, friend is a huge horror nut, and um, I had been telling her about it. She was over, and we were checking out my new. Oh, I got my new TV. My new Tight. sixty-five inch TV Tight. on the wall. Sick AF. Uh, it's definitely a huge difference. Um, I didn't even talk about the the exterior parts of Hogwarts. Sorry. Hold on. Let me back up. Oh yeah. Keep before, going back to Hogwarts. Before, before I, just, I finish sorry. Dead's the broom. So I just okay. got a notification sorry, that she was actually sorry, playing sorry. Hogwarts right now. Literally okay. So the mounts, Chewburger. the mounts, yeah, right? Like riding on a broomstick is really fun. I saw in the PC version, people are of course are already modding the broomstick. My favorite one. Somebody oh, replaced God. the broomstick with Shrek. So they're literally like mounting Shrek okay, like on top yeah. of his lower back, and they're and he's just like he's like guys wings out and he's just. Flying. Flying through the sky, Classic. it looks so stupid. But um, the the exploring outside is <laughs> overwhelming AF for me because uh, like there's a there's a video there, there's a couple of videos floating around the internet. My favorite one is when the woman walks up on the trolley and she's like, "Would you guys like anything from the trolley?" And it's got um, Voldemort and he's doing that spell like you were saying because that really is how it like when you first start the first thing you want to do is just like let me just go cast some shit on somebody and then it's disappointing yeah, when you find out that it does nothing to the NPCs so that's yeah. like a that's like a sad part about it but um the other thing that's really cool is um oh I blanked out I, I there, oh the the other one was uh the fact that like um yeah you cast Revelios like every two seconds so the guy is like a real life example of what it's like to play Hogwarts Legacy and it's like Revelios he takes two steps Revelios takes two steps Revelios and that's like literally what it's like when you're outside because you don't want to miss anything right well Revelios reveals things that can be hidden or um just any like inanimate object that you need to interact with and <laughs> See, I end up just like walking around in the outside world. Literally, I think like I take like five steps and I cast it, and it's a little um, obnoxious. But and there, there's the, the open world is so big, 
and I've covered like such a small part of it. And I'm thinking like, man, if I want to uncover this whole thing, it's going to take me hours, dude, because my dumb ass is going to be sitting there. You know, I can't miss anything. Don't want to miss like a little satchel. It's got like 12 gold coins in it, you know. So um, did you get the anyway, satchel? I've gotten all the satchels. Um, I, I don't care if it's 12 coins or two. I'm going to get them. Um, it's silly. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's OK. But it is cool how like you'll be out. You'll be out doing stuff and you have to like go find um herbs you have to find herbs to like you know go grow herbs, in your uh, herbology class then you have to go then you have to take the herbs you grow in herbology class and you mix potions with oh, the potion class. Of herbs. yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me i'm tired oh you, man and I'm you know the, 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 the teach yeah anyways game's great uh I, I highly recommend it for anybody that's uh that's looking See, for, i thought there was more multiplayer aspect to it i don't know why i thought it was just single player game no it's no there's no multiplayer i mean unless unless they've added it and i didn't know about no, it no, no. But, i no i you, i i know almost nothing about the game so yeah. right well you i mean it's, you guys aren't really gonna gonna play it so it makes sense I might play, I, if it ever goes on sale or if i can pirate it i'd probably play it it's yeah, great I'll i mean it, i'll play it if it goes on sale or we get it for free but yeah, ten out of ten. Um, I also so I did the intro to Dead Space, freaking phenomenal, dude. Like, talk about you were you were on you were on point with the. So I actually turned my soundbar off because it was freaking me out too much. Um, yep. The the, the sound of like the because that's the thing that got me in Resident Evil Seven when I played it the first time and I went into the basement. Charlie, you probably know what I'm talking about, and you start hearing like like a pin drop over here, so you like turn around real quick. And there's nothing there. And then you turn back around and there's like a thing right in front of your face. And you're like, oh, son of a bitch. Yes. Yeah, that's that's kind of what this is like. Um, where it has like very like incredible ambient noises and uh, yeah. or ambient noises. And I, yeah, I, I think I, I'm really excited to play it. But I kind of not going to lie, dude. Like I can't play it with the lights off. Game is scary as shit. Like and I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything, but it legit had me kind of like. I don't know if it was a weed talking or what, but I started to get a little, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, was, that, play, was that I, upstairs or was that in the game? Like, I, I, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, I'm a little I'm a little freaked out now. I think I'm going to have to turn a light on I or play something. play about 20, 20 minutes at a time. And I, so, because I loved the first Dead Space, and I feel like I wasn't as much of a chicken when I first played it. It was definitely scary, but I, like, I was, like, scared, but I wasn't, like, fuck. But I think now, more so my anticipation of stuff has me more afraid just because I'm like, oh, something is going to happen or whatever, you know, whatever that might be. Yeah. But I, I definitely find myself in more of a like, I'm scared for scared sake. <laughs> like the game, the game is the remaster is like really good. The graphics are really good. They're, they added some extra bits here and there to make it to make the game better, which is like really cool. Um, And it's not like they, they added scarier things. It's not like the game is extra scary. You know what I mean? But I find myself like, like literally like gripping my chair. Like I'm like, like, <laughs> like a little like hunched over, like I had all the lights on. I have to, you know what I mean? Um, the game is great though. I mean, the game, like the game itself was already solid. And so just having it like a little bit of like some nicer, like nicer, not nicer graphic. Well, it is nicer. Graphics. It is they, nice. They did dude. It the is graphics, real nice. So like, yeah. Um, Having that like redone is like really cool, um, because it's just like really crisp. Like if you go back and look at the uh, the first Dead Space, you're like, oh yeah, this is definitely this is definitely they put some like love into making it look better. And there is some there is a couple newer things. Like there are some like side quests that I don't remember because I'm like about halfway through at this point. Um, only because literally, like, I'm not joking. I can only play for like 20 minutes at a time. I, my anxiety like gets too high, like straight up. Um, That's funny. It's it's so silly. <clears throat> um, but yeah, the game is uh the game's great. The game's fire. I'm uh I'm loving I'm loving playing a a game that I used to love so much. Um, and just I'm kind of wondering like what's the next big remake they're gonna do because it seems like a lot of the studios it's are just that, cashing in on on remaking a lot of big stuff. So I wonder what the next they, big they know that that's remake's uh, gonna be. That's, that's what it'll sell. It's uh, and not like Resident yeah. Evil Four because Resident Evil Four remake is going to be disgusting. I FYI, mean, Charles got, going down. Um, <clears throat> we just hashtag, got like you know, the Metroid uh, remake, which was like didn't see that, didn't even know that was happening. Um, I love how I love how Charlie just like doesn't even react to it. He just gives it like a pff, bitch kid. Shut up. What's the? I mean, you guys are. 
Because you guys, Silent are- Hill, that would be a good one. Yeah, I would play. I would Silent definitely would play cool. that. I would yeah, play yeah, Remake. that would be. I wish that. Yeah, they would do that. I would. You know, Silent was, Hill. Would, go ahead. Uh, I, go ahead. I'm trying to think of what what it's called, but you know, Silent uh, Hill was always like one of those games to me where I didn't get into the series very much, but they, it always seemed scarier to me. The Resident Evil. It, it wasn't a matter of me not liking it or anything. It was just a matter of like I my parents wouldn't buy me the games because uh, Resident Evil caused me enough. Cause cost <laughs> them enough in therapy. Yeah, it's more as a so child for them, for them, <laughs> not for you. Yeah, so I yeah. never, I never, I think I like played the the, the demo to Silent Hill yeah. one, but I never played the full game in completion, and it looks off. Yeah, dude, I would shit my, I would shoot a brick if they did Parasite Eve. Parasite, Parasite Eve was great. Would lose my mind if they remade that game. That is, that is I probably one of my. Game, dude. Oh, oh, dude, it's so one of the good. best RPGs of all time. Like easily, it, they they did this crazy story about like um uh people's mitochondria being manipulated and uh yeah like this one cool. woman named eve could manipulate people's mitochondria, mitochondria. Yeah. Of the cell. And it was in new york city and like they like the always in new york city yeah and the it's story always, t- the story took place so like the anxiety all these <laughs> fucking movies and games all these scary fucking World ending events are always in New York City. I'm like, yeah, of course. I, At I, the New York, uh, wherever they do the opera, wherever like one of the opera places is, and then you go over to uh, Grand Central Park, and there's like a whole thing there. And yeah, it's a great game, fucking phenomenal game. But, anyways, <clears throat> so is that all yeah, you've been to... playing? Uh, so I yeah, so Dead Space been playing a lot of because even though I play for 20 minutes, I'll like take a break, chill, like calm down, yeah, have a glass of water. <laughs> And then I'll come back in and play some more. Um, but then also, uh, there has been a new, there's a new season in, uh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Also, my next door neighbors had a, a, a birthday party last night that went until very late in the AM. So at 2.30, I was woken up to a very loud, uh, happy birthday being sung. So that was really fun. Um, uh, there is a new season and new cards released in Marvel Snap. And I've been playing a lot of that because there's, there's this one new card. There's a Modoc card that came out because like, obviously with Quantum Mania they are uh, they're going a little heavy into that. So there's like a lot of like there's a new Ant Man card. There's a Modoc got released. There's a couple other things. Um, and Modoc is a card that when you play it, it discards your entire hand. So there's a few really fun decks built around discarding your entire hand. Like there was a discard deck from before that was like Morbius and Lady Sif and uh, Apocalypse, some other things. But this version. This like Modoc. Uh, oh, he was the catalyst for that. Well, no, for this th- for this one, it's it's a little bit different than the old version with Apocalypse. You oh. still have Apocalypse. You still have some of the other cards that that were there, but um, now you add in like the Collector. So like if you could discard Swarm and you get two Swarm, Collector gets two points. But then if you Modoc later on, then you're gonna get four points in the Collector because it's four Swarm being added. It's just like a bunch of like there's different win conditions which make it really fun too. Um, so I've been playing a ton of that uh, to the point where. Actually, let me open it back up because this is the this is the furthest I've ever been in a uh, in like a rank. Because well, there's like mo- cause there's multiple like rankings here. There's the season pass rank. There is your collector level, and then there's your actual rank uh, for the season. I'm at sixty, and I've never I've never made it past like fifty, and uh, I'm like crushing it with this Modoc deck. So I'm oh, like, wow, shit. maybe I could. Maybe I can get to oh. it, which is a hundred, which would be really cool. This man's going going for the overachievers your bo- your uh, trophy. Boy, your boys, go- how, and how long is this last for? What does it say? Does it say? Is it just for the season? So yeah, there's two weeks in the season. So like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get to infinite, which is really cool. The deck is really fun though. It's like all the, it is. What are the cards? It is yeah, sunspot, which is the one where it. Every unused energy get adds into them. Morbius, which every discard you get two points. Collector, every card that comes into your hand that didn't start your deck is a point. Wolverine, when it's destroyed, discard it adds it to random location plus four, plus two. Swarm, Colleen Wing, Rogue. So Rogue is great because there's a lot of people playing this deck and then also decks with Wong, where Wong is uh, ongoing. Do on reveal things twice. So Rogue will steal either of those, which is really tight. Um, which is like a nice little counterplay. And then all the rest are like. Yeah, Lady Sif and Dracula and then Apocalypse and Modoc being the, the the catalyst. Really fun deck. It's been really it's been really fun to play. That sounds dope. Um, I need to, I need so, to, I don't know why I stopped playing that. I mean, you know, if it's if it's not your like it might not be something I don't know. I feel like I like for I was talking with a friend the other day who's a big magic guy and he's like, That game sucks. And I was like, 
Yeah, because it's not what you want. <laughs> doesn't do what you want. Like you play Magic, which is a very intricate, more they're, extensive. They're not even game. your deck. Yeah, your deck has sixty cards. This deck has twelve. You know what? My no friend way. Michael like, had the same. I mean? pro- my my friend Toronto had the same problem. He's like, I don't like that. Um, he's like, it's too easy. He's like, I don't like that you're not um like attacking anything. Like he he but likes the, that's the thing is like you, there those those decks exist in simpler forms. Yeah, well, you know, I I those, agree with all, you, but you know, it's like some like, people they have every a very deck that exists in any other card game exists. It's just in a simpler form. There's twelve cards, so yeah. it's not going to be what you'd expect in a full fledged sixty card fucking deck. It's just not. You know what I mean? Like it's not what it is. Um. But yeah, I I, I I really I don't know. I uh I'm I really enjoy the game. I played a lot. I play that probably the most out of things. Like does actually does Steam tell you how much you play of a game? It probably does, right? Yes, it does tell you. Yeah, I have eighty uh, seventy three hours in Snap on Steam, so that's not counting my phone t- time too. Wow. So lot lots of Marvel Snap. And then yeah. Dead Space. I wish I I wish I could get back into it. I've been wanting to find a game, like some mobile games to just like catch my attention. I just haven't had time to really dive into it. i've been playing so the game i was thinking of that i was like i want to remake of was fatal frame oh that, that was a good one frame. yeah that was an oldie that's, familiar. that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a on, ps1 right a ps2 original oh. xbox and we essentially it was a horror game where the only the only thing you had was a was a antique oh, like flashlight no it was a camera so oh. you had to like find the, you had to find out what was going on and like all these ghosts would and spirits or whatever or monsters would come after you but the only way you can defend them is take photos of them and you had limited photos that you could take wow. so it was really it was really well done so i would really i would love to see a fatal frame remake interesting that's so I, interesting i think you could really do stuff with it i'm i think i'm gonna wait to play dead space until i get the the basement done and then dude, i'll be the first game that I you're, play. man you should Dude, go ahead and get I, yourself I a, play an that. adult diaper for that. Yeah, I couldn't play that in like surround sound. Like no yeah. way, dude. Especially in a basement. Fuck that, dude. I'd need. Yeah. A, I would need like a nine millimeter or a AR fifteen at my disposal to the next to the side of me, which is actually a really bad idea because I'd be like uber paranoid. So, hundred percent. It's a really bad idea. Hundred percent. But um, yeah, I've been wanting to play games. So I've been playing like this real. Excuse me. I subscribe to the subreddit iOS gaming. If anyone's never heard of that, it's a great place to wow. just find like, you know, uh, not obscure, like obscure games that uh, you don't normally find. Just people like post things and find it. So I've been playing this small little MMO um, called, what is it called? Uh, Eater Spire, Eater Spire, E-T-E-R Spire. So Eater Spire. It's just, it's an indie game made by like three people. Um, it's very basic, but it's just it scratches the itch for right now. Because um, I think the game that I'm probably going to put a lot of time into, and I, I say this with every game, and then I end up backing out. It's just that division game that's on, coming to mobile. So I oh, don't yeah, know. I keep forgetting about that. I don't know when that's happening. So I'm hoping it, it's in beta right now. So I'm hoping it's sometime soon. So hopefully sometime this summer. Um, but I will I will play the shit out of that division game, um, especially yeah. if it's because it looks like the graphics on that look like it's it's better than the original. Division graphics, which is kind of crazy, which were great, which were which very were, good, which were really good. Yeah, but right now I haven't. I'm I'm still trying to finish Dying Light Two because I haven't had any time to play. No, it's Super. okay. We know you haven't been playing because you have like a whole like you've basically done more man <laughs> shit than I could possibly <laughs> fathom. I like it. Like if it came to me and the end of the world and having to do man shit, we'd all be fucked. Charlie is like, yeah, let me just build a basement and then go hop on a computer, do some IT shit, play some video games, and then go build a fucking home theater. Yeah, essentially. Ridiculous. Your natural talent level is higher than mine, and I'm jealous. It's just YouTube, man. I no, just, it's just no. Problem solving. Listen, listen, you say that, mm. but you don't understand that Like, some people lack the ability to do things in I could I couldn't do it. Like I, I just, I'm just a fucking you bonehead, dude. Maybe, you, you yeah, could, maybe you could learn it. Like, listen, I, I we were, before you hopped in, me and Trevor were talking about this. Like, I learned on YouTube. I just watched. I had to change a toilet out on YouTube. I looked at a video to do it and I just and did it. There's nothing to do with anything else. It's like some of these things. That's what I was saying before. Some of these things anyone can do. You pay a professional so much money because of how annoying it is for them to do it in reality. If I paid a plumber times. 
if I if I paid a plumber to come through to change the toilet, he would have charged me like 500 bucks, even though it's literally just pick it up, move it, put a new one on. You know what I'm saying? There's not like anything more to that. But they charge you so much because of the fact that it's just a dumb thing to do. But like if you just look up a video how to do it. Like some things you cannot do, obviously. But like most things, you'd be surprised by your ability to do them, especially the fact that YouTube exists. You know what I mean? Like you, YouTube is like crazy how much information just exists on there of how to do pretty like menial things, you know? Yeah, things that are like stuff that could kill me, I try not to do myself. As you should not. <laughs> you should, like like like, like, like electrician work, maybe. I can do maybe some. Electrician. I could do a majority of electrical work. I cannot do. I'm. Any, I don't anytime, touch panel stuff. Anytime, like a guide or something will say, turn off the the breaker or something, or turn off your or not your breaker, but your main power thing. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna fuck with any of this. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I'm good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can do most stuff, but I can't. I can't. I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with that. Nor do I fuck with plumbing because plumbing can cause leaks and i do some sure. basic stuff like toilet water stuff damage water. it can lead to some real real cost oh i know for sure oh, ventures yeah oh, well know. both actually if anything both of you would know more than i would <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> yeah we have a uh... Uh, we have a, a new user in the chat called Calark who says, I watched a YouTube video that shows how to successfully crush a white claw can on your forehead without knocking yourself out. Very helpful. No yes. shit. How do you do that, man? A new user. A new user. A new, named user. A new user. Yeah. Brand new first time new chatter. User. Yeah. First time chatter. That must have been reset or something. And I didn't say that. I'm just being facetious. Oh, you're yeah, being, he was, uh, he you're was just silly. He was trolling. I was being silly. I was trolling. Yeah. yeah. I've never crushed a can of white claw on my head once in my entire life. So, so. what you're talking about. We've talked about what games we played. Have we talked about uh, the big announcement for Diablo 4? Yeah, let's go. No, we haven't talked about I actually didn't even watch that video. I just scrolled. I haven't watched it either. I'm, I'm, the video does, honestly, the video, it's like a cool little, it doesn't fucking matter. I just gonna make, scroll I'm going to the end. Well, I'll just go watch ahead it in the game. Uh, where's the infographic that I had March, pulled up? March, I think 17th. Yeah, so early, early access uh, yeah. for pre-orders. Oh, oh see, sorry. Pre-purchase. For beta early access on March seventeenth to nineteenth, and then the open beta is the twenty fourth to the twenty sixth. Your characters, <laughs> your characters' progress will carry over from the seventeenth to the nineteenth to the twenty fourth to the twenty sixth. But after that, they're going to reset the characters for the launch. Yeah. The only thing I'm going to play the beta. The only reason why I'd play the beta is if you get like something for playing the beta. For playing the beta, sure. Yeah. I'm not I personally will not be spending any time, if all if any at all, on this just because I already played oh, the beta. I, oh, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I might hop on just to see, see how you guys are enjoying it, but I, uh, I really I, I'm uh, gonna, I didn't I'm do it already because I got into the beta. Hey, I so didn't even me, I played to level uh, thirty two, man. I didn't even fucking cool, dude. I didn't even play that far because I told myself I didn't want to burn myself out and not to mention I am, the fact like, give that, me the beta, give me the beta, give me the beta, and then yeah. you give me shit and you two fucking dorks get NDAs about it in an email that and then you immediately talk about it in our fucking podcast. I didn't. Hey, I, I didn't, can't even I, get the chance I, to break an NDA. I, I, I told you you could play it. It's you just didn't it, want to play Charlie, it on the PlayStation. Charlie, it's the principle of the fact. Okay, it's the principle. Okay. It's the principle. All right. So I'm pretty excited. Stan, I think Stan is probably already trying to figure out how to get off of work for every yeah. other day for that. Um, <laughs> Stan, Stan's pretty, yeah. Stan, 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 Stan is standing hard. Stan already uh, put in a six month leave of absence at work for the July f or was it June fourth, June sixth, June sixth. Um, oh yeah, because it's six six, uh, twenty 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 three. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, wait five, until which is one less than six, so it's almost six six six. What'd you say, Charlie? So too bad they didn't wait to 2026. Because there you go. Yeah, too, too late. Are you guys gonna? Yeah, I think you already said, but are you gonna get it on uh, console or placed? I have it on uh, computer. PC. I have it on console. I have it on computer, but I think it's isn't it cross platform? It is cross platform. Cross -platform. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we'll play. Let's go. And then Let's once go. I get my platinum, I'll switch to PC. Dude, dude. <laughs> once I get so my silly. platinum, how's the? Wait, uh, so you buy the game twice? Yeah. Yeah, I buy I buy him twice, dude. I'm a bonehead. I can't even deny oh, it. Okay. I have Diablo. So I have, wait till it goes on sale. On I have Blizzard. I have Diablo Two it. remake on both. I have it on PlayStation it on and well. on. Um, yeah. That's so silly. You guys I know. are fucking silly idiots. Right, I know. I, I don't. I don't. There's only forty dollars. It's, it's, it's just twenty dollars on Blizzard for that like a 40? Christmas sale. Listen, the dollar double cheeseburger doesn't exist anywhere at McDonald's, oh. but it's for the dollar double cheeseburgers. Okay. 
Ooh. What would you rather have? A Donald's game you already own cheeseburger. or four dollar double, double cheeseburgers? A game I already uh, own. I think I would rather have the game because McDonald's makes me want to die inside. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't want bubble it's guts. So the, it's over a, here. Listen, it's the principle of the fact. If you ever get that down on on your luck, you be you be praying for those dollar double cheeseburgers. Yeah, <gasps> Wait, the McDouble true. is a dollar. Wait, it is. It's on the dollar menu. Maybe there is still a dollar double cheeseburger. Okay. Yes, the other day. Okay. I know this is there. We're, we're totally derailing the conversation from video games. No, this is this, you, this is very this is very food for a second. Are you new to the channel? This is very but important. The other day, I was watching this uh, video on on Instagram, and it's this guy, and he always talks about like you got to respect the schmear, cuh, and stuff like that. Oh, that, that but, fucking the the New Jersey Italian. Yeah, dude. but he went the into this. Shmere. He went to this place, this Italian deli. And I swear to God, they had these like open face Italian sandwiches. And there was this one where they were just like throwing mortadelle across the deli onto the onto the sandwich. And it was just like watching the guy. The guy was just like crying. He was just like, it's so beautiful seeing the mortadelle yeah, just funny. raining from the sky, you know. And I swear to these sandwiches look so fucking incredible i wanted to like reach through the screen and eat one so bad dude like i posted oh. some dumb shit he actually he he you gotta the respect the schmear well there's when you when you come to new one. york josh i have two places to take you one there's one place in williamsburg that i took dom to okay i had the um was the jim carrey i think it was the dude, sandwich I don't know if any good anymore I, I haven't I heard had, that they've been slipping. I haven't had one in a long time, so I don't really know. There's also another place in, in New Jersey that's by um, by Airy Rental, which is has like you 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 get like a mozzarella sandwich, and it is the be- they make everything fresh in house, and it's so goddamn that's good. That's so good, dude. That's oh, it's not. You know what's funny is like you know I might I'm like in New Jersey though, so I'm a little on the I'm a little on the yeah. lactose side of things. But you know what's weird is is whenever oh, I, I eat it. whenever I eat like real mozzarella like real mozz it doesn't make me sick it's so weird like i don't know if it's just something preservatives about, probably yeah yeah i think i think it's something about the way that it's made in that like fresh fresh state but um video games it's, it's so funny mentioned, so the number one guido is his instagram handle and the video i posted was someone making a cauliflower pizza and it was literally just like oh, yeah, I saw oh. that. <laughs> yeah cauliflower <laughs> just like sliced down the middle yeah as like one solid piece and then <laughs> this fucking it, yeah, it was that was very good. That was he very makes good. he makes a few good ones. Some of them are a little like. I finally it, figured out how you cocksuckers are so skinny. You eat disrespectful shit like this on a daily basis. <laughs> you eat disrespectful shit like this, dude. So funny. Cuz so I love how cause. he ends it with cuz. It's so good. That's one of that's one of the people on the internet that doesn't that that I I, I can't get enough of. There's a few people like he's that. He's very funny. Yeah, he's very funny. Number one, Guido. Wait. Classic Italians are classic. So I'm uh, uh, I got my Hogwarts yeah. Legacy. Next, it's gonna be Resident Evil Four Destruction. See, I'm I'm see the the Ho- Hogwarts Legacy is just the appetizer. The real meal is going to be getting the platinum trophy before Charlie in Resident Evil Four Remake. That's going to be that's the challenge. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah. So I had to like but, I had to like come back. I had I had to like have my coming to Jesus moment with Hogwarts, where I was like realizing that I I could I could do it. I had to like you know recondition my my thought process to where I could believe in myself to actually get a platinum trophy. And when when is, when is that coming out? March twenty fourth. March twenty uh, March twenty fifth. <clears throat> March twenty fourth. Oh, I get it because he he wants a day ahead of you. <laughs> that makes sense. Let's see. Let's see what he's, day of the he's, week is he's that? already he's already putting his time off in. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this work March twenty fourth is a Friday. Calark, the new the Three new days. chatter asked if you moved. No, he just he moved to a different the room. New chatter. This is a funny bit we're still doing. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's a Friday. Uh, you know, we typically get long weekends. Oh yeah, at Adobe, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, uh, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you're gonna need it. He says. Yeah, yeah. Well, Resident Evil. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. Resident Evil summons a whole different a whole different beast mode in in Chef Crondo. Okay. Yeah. This isn't okay. this isn't a fucking. Actually, I'm saying this, but I mean, I talked You're already to big, recognizing. I talked to a big game about Final Fantasy. I still don't even have the game. <laughs> <laughs> 
You said the same thing about Crisis Core. It's like I've been. No, that's what I'm saying. Crisis Core. I don't, I don't even. Game. I, it awakens a new beast in me. Look, I'm like, okay. I, I, I even I even beat the game on my PSP before it came out just to practice for this to come out. And then, yeah, we won't talk about that. Somebody, <laughs> somebody stole that trophy from me. Yeah. That's still that's shit. Cool. That's, you didn't even buy the game yet. You haven't even played it. I don't still. need to. That's fine. All right. So we're I'm we're going we're going oh. hard. Like I'm it's it's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up early on Friday. Okay. And I'm gonna play it. Okay. I'm gonna wake up at like it. four a.m. Do you want me to give you a head start? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get the look on his face. He's like sure. to even realize. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take a handicap. I am Everyone. the handy. I am the handy. This whole thing is handicapped for you. I can't. I can't wait. Uh, I don't care what. Hope I haven't. I haven't timed it out, so I have no idea if we're doing a pod that weekend. We're gonna do yeah. a pod that weekend. Doesn't oh, matter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Well, I won't. I won't be able to. I'm gonna be busy platinuming the game. I'm gonna already have it by then. <laughs> he says I'm gonna have it by then. I'm, I mean, if it takes 30 hours to a platinum, I mean, that's a. I feel like it's going to be longer than that because usually there's like a, you have to do one playthrough and then there's like a it unlocks the um, professional mode or whatever. The yeah, the, the, the RE is. the RE three remake was had to beat you, it on, you had to beat it on, on all of them. It was the Inferno or whatever. Yeah, you had to beat it on yeah. Inferno uh, and then you which I couldn't get, do. Like, I actually I struggled to beat it on Inferno. I don't think I could. I think I got no, stuck. I, could, like, I don't uh, think I got past the first like. There, there were some really tough areas in, in RE3. Like, they, so I think you had to ha- it was all about, like, the timing sequence. Like, you had, to, you had to time certain things really well because you couldn't use all your ammunition on the the zombies. You had to save all of your ammunition for the bosses. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where, where it was because there's a, there's a, it gets to a point where, like, if you make it all the way to a certain point, you can get, like, the unlimited ammo. But, like, I couldn't even get to that part because I kept dying. I spent, like, a couple hours Dude, trying to get past I had that. the unlimited ammo, and I was still struggling because I suck, all right? That game was really not hard. I mean, but it, but the Inferno mode was was another level. Like, they actually made it pretty tough. I'm excited, actually. I, I, RE4 was easily one of my favorite games of all time. Like, yeah. I, Dom, yeah. I know you're not, like, a big RE guy, but this this game is actually, like, legitimately very fun. You might enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know why I never like. I, I think it was more well, so just the shooting style was my biggest thing. I think that, the, and, and this was the first one that deviated away from the tank controls, which, which is the style yeah. that you probably are not a fan of. Like Re-stop this is where and shooting stuff. Yeah, this is where like you're actually playing from an over the shoulder view. And yeah, that was the first. That one. that was why it would like like myself like when you, well, the first time that Leon goes out and you like go over the, over the shoulder and he's got like the 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 red laser pointer and then you're like laser pointing at things. I was like, this is fucking dope. Like, I yeah. lost my mind. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Oh. And then they and confirmed then the, that it will have a a new game plus, which beautiful. Obviously, we know. I, I think one of my favorite parts about Resident Evil Four was itemizing the briefcase, like making sure you had like every square taken up so if like, you found like the little egg or like a little grenade like you always had you never left anything behind that's one of my favorite parts about resident evil 4 yeah uh, that and collecting the little um the hidden treasures and then you can like some of the treasures are broken and you can put the treasures together and then sell them to the dude for even more money and the upgrades on the weapons i'm sorry that game is a shock wait for that game that was what 2006 so dope, was that game came out originally yeah yeah 2006 yeah. or 2007 one of the two uh, uh, it says, oh, it was renamed Game of the Year at 2005. So 2005. Is oh, well, I was wrong. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm. Wow, that was a long ass time ago. Almost I know, years dude. Ago. I know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are old. We are old. Old gamers, but it's okay. I'm looking old forward. Old gamers. <laughs> Looking forward to playing. Normally, if it was like a competition like this, I would actually just stay up all night, but I can't do that. I can't. I can't. I can't stay I've, up. Look, if I if I tried to stay this up all really night, competition. Excuse me. Yes, it's I'm actually. All, it's, I'm actually going to try this time. I haven't actually tried okay. in the past. Okay. Okay. I was Put full a of nothing but excuses. In this part right here, we're going to see what happens. Actually, going to try, everyone. I'm actually going to try. Actually, going to try. The other times, I was. I was making excuses because of my uh, heroin. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, World of Warcraft addiction. Um, but this time, put the needle down and just stick another needle in the Resident yeah, Evil needle. I 
Highly doubt that because a guaranteed what? Okay, I'm curious. What? Wow, stuff see, I've comes already. Out that's the thing is like March. old war. Old nothing's coming out. The are uh, the uh, trial of the Grand Crusaders, the next raid, and it doesn't come out until like April or May. And I've already just absolutely obliterated old war. So I'm kind of like already bored with it. So now you know, now I have like no no hurdles in my way other than um, Ashy's pessimism towards my. <laughs> My O and three record. <laughs> no faith, no faith, Ashy. I have faith. I have faith. I, you, I, I see. Faith I feel like I feel like you four. are the type of guy that loves an underdog story, right? I do. You're yeah, absolutely correct. So then you're gonna love on Mark. What is what's that Sunday that I'm gonna I'm gonna get like a platinum? <laughs> I feel like I need six. to get a platinum trophy and like just raise it over my head. Twenty six. If you if you beat me to it, I will. I will 3D print you a platinum trophy. You'll 3D right pull. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now I got extra incentive. I'm going to have to start like doing well, some research. <laughs> All right. What's up, Hooch? Hooch is here. Hooch is here to see uh, us talking smack about how Charlie's going to lose at uh... us. <laughs> Anyways, video games. I'm sorry. I'm like trying to order stuff, order food right now because you fucking think that. Well, I'm, I have to lead my first raid today. I'm pretty excited about it. But this is, this is why he's going to lose. By the way, why? Because I'm leading a raid today. Yeah, exactly. This is the 19th of February. We got 25 days. Less than that. We got like 20 something days until. Can you not do 28th. math? Well, no, it's because we, it ends on the 28th. Yeah, no, I, I'm actually 30, I'm actually very stupid when it comes to math. <sighs> so good. So good. Was Chronic going to lose at this time? Resident Evil 4 Platinum run. I can't marathon anymore. Motion sickness starts to get the best of me. That actually happens to my buddy Trondo. He can't play. I, really, I feel really bad for him. He can't play The Last of Us because it makes it gets him like really sick. And I don't I'm like, that blows, dude. I had the same problem with VR. Which really sucks because I really like VR and I can't play it for more than like 20 minutes at a time. Yeah, that really does blow. Because I used to love playing um, Beat Saber. That's like my favorite game to play. I might pick. I might try to pick it back up when the new PlayStation VR 2 comes out, which I actually don't know when that comes out. I'm actually curious about when it is. But um, yes, VR 2. It comes out. Doesn't say. Oh, it's damn, it's pretty expensive. Like it's almost six hundred dollars for it. What but, is? I mean, it kind of makes the, v, the PlayStation VR two. Oh, oh, it's available next week. The VR two. Yeah, twenty oh. February twenty second. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait to see if some reviews on it before I pick one up. <laughs> He's already thinking about getting one. Correct. I mean, I love PSVR. It's great. It's yeah. it's like I'm just very I'm I'm gonna be I'm gone for like two and a half weeks, so I'm not. Gonna Where are you going? It. I'm headed to Europe on Monday, tomorrow. Poor you. So, what are you doing? Are you for work or chilling? For work, yeah. Yeah, it's just I'm in Denmark for 48 hours. I'm in London for four days. I'm in Munich for 48 hours, and I'm home for 48 hours. And I go to Vegas for a week for work. For so, what? Is that like for Adobe stuff? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. where, that is where he works. That's, no, that's I know, but I mean, like, I didn't know if he like had to do uh, that was like film stuff. But I guess that's no. It's a lot of it's a lot of a lot of meetings, a lot that's, of that's, that's, that's conferences. A fair, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Sure. My my, yeah. my, all, my jab at you wasn't called. No, you're good. All that work stuff. Point. All Adobe stuff. Yeah. Listen, all coming from stuff. the guy that works at Twitch and didn't even know there was a React button. Okay, Mister. You know what? Okay, this is actually hilarious <laughs> that you say this because I work at Twitch in a very specific department. <laughs> yeah. But you should know everything about me, everything like, at Twitch. I should know everything about Twitch, obviously. Oh, come on, people dude. People ask me like, oh, what is what's going on with this thing? Yeah. Like. I don't fucking. How much is? How, hold on, wait, hold, wait, hold on. How much is Twitch worth? Oh, Twitch, a gajillion dollars. Interactive. Where's the stock? Oh, they're not a publicly traded company. Okay, never mind. Amazon. Oh, they're part of Amazon technically. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Hold on, wait. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You don't know everything that's going on at Amazon? What the hell, dude? Like, exactly. <laughs> it's uh, almost a trillion dollars. What a loser! If you're wondering how much Amazon is worth. Hmm. Almost a trillion? Wow. Oh, so you mean to tell ninety six billion dollars. Okay, so so Dom, you mean to tell me that you don't know everything that's going on at a nine hundred and ninety six billion dollar company? What the fuck are you doing with your life? I know. Seriously, I know. dude. I'm gonna need I you know. to stop playing Warhammer so much and you know, get it Trust together, me. dog. 
Trust me. <laughs> you, dude. You, you have no idea. <laughs> That's funny. I like how Hooch is the. I, I just read the chat. He didn't even say, like, oh, what are they competing at? Just what is Chrono going to lose at this time? <laughs> <laughs> savage. That's savage. I still need to clip that last for the Game of the Year episode. Son of a bitch. Some stuff online because that was honestly, that was the best. That was 100% worth it. What was it? Oh, it. you talking about when I, when you like Platinum it on stream? Yeah. Oh, that was the best. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for us today because uh, we're going to do. We'll, we'll continue live, so we'll keep the. Um, I'm going to stop the stream and then restart it. But um, oh yeah, I forgot that Nick also works for Amazon. Um, uh, but uh, so we're going to go. Um, and I'm going to be done with this episode because we're going to go talk about the last of us. Last two episodes. Wait, so oh, because are we? Wait, are we? You said we were going to come back to live or no? We're I'm going to hit stop on the recording and the stream and then continue because I remember I we. Right. I, okay. I, I save the videos from yes. Twitch and then I put them yes. on, on YouTube. So it just makes it easier so we don't have to edit anything. I don't have time to do it. But So, uh, yeah, that's, that'll do it for us this week. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. You can find us on uh, Instagram, OG.podcast. Twitter is over Achiever P, even though we don't use it. And our website is OGpodcast.fm, where you can get this episode and every episode we're talking about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to. A little bit of gaming news and how much Kron is going to lose at everything that he he's against me with. So I'm a win. Uh, thanks. I'm a winner. My mom you told me so. I mean, you are a winner. You are a winner. You're just not a winner in this in this I'm respect. A you're a winner. You can't, you're a winner. You're you winner. can't win I'm them the, all. I'm the I'm the winner of the people. Nor will you. <laughs> you're our, you're no, our will you. All right, a sweet well, little winner. I'll see you all soon. Uh, very soon. We're gonna go. Restart. So just stay, like, stay tuned because I'm literally going to hit stop and then. Unless you don't want to listen to spoilers from the Last of Us last episode. Yeah, if you haven't, well, if you, you haven't, haven't seen, somehow watched it. If you haven't seen episode what four, four and five? five, yeah, yeah. Wait, not four and five. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Didn't, do, we didn't do we four. Did, four. You five. guys did. You guys talked about the one with Bill and Frank, and then we didn't yeah. talk about the following two episodes. Yeah, oh, yeah, we didn't because it. we all got busy because we all are adults and have shit to do. So, Speak for yourself. I'm, I just fucking sit in my underwear all day. Well, now we know why. This man doesn't even know what's going right. on at a nine hundred ninety-six billion dollar company. Well, come on, now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all soon. Bye.